Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt. Today I'm here to show you some F keys, which are some shortcuts in Minecraft that you can use. And we'll start off with some of the most common shortcuts. Now, this one's usually obvious to everyone, but if you hit F1, or if you're on a Mac, you can hit Function, which is in the bottom left-hand corner, and then F1. So everything in this video that I just say, like for instance, F1 or F2 or F3, if you're using a Mac, just hold Function, which is in the bottom left, like I said, and then follow the instructions that I said. So uh, I've done this a million times already, but if you hit F1, you can lose your GUI, which is your graphical user interface, which is this thing along the bottom. And you'll also notice that you'll lose the crosshairs in the middle and your character's arm. So that can be used kind of for more uh, of like a cinematic look if you ever want. Um, you know, because if you just wanted to do a look at these trees instead of like this, you know, you could have more of like this, which is a tra more of a traditional uh, sort of shot. But anyway, let's move on past that. Uh, the next thing we'll be talking about is F3, which is fairly common. This is your uh, debug info. Um, at the top, you know, it says what version you're using. So, like I said, um, 1.4.5 is what version of Minecraft this is. And then at the bottom left, you can see X, Y, Z. Those are the coordinates that you're at. So, as you can see, as I go higher, my Y gets higher. As I go lower, my Y gets lower. As I go to the side, my X changes and so on. Um, you can use this. This is um, useful for teleporting. It's also useful for just sharing your location for people like if you found a really cool cave or something and you want to tell someone where you were that's a really good idea to um, that's a really good way to show them where you were. Okay the next thing we will be using is uh, it's also similar to the thing I just showed you but if you hold down shift and do it you'll get a pie chart which shows how your memory is being allocated so um, if you know what to do with that information, go for it. Um, you can also hit 1. Uh, you can play with the little numbers on the bottom, um, like I just did right there. And that will show you um, different parts different parts of information you can get from that. But that's really technical, and most people won't use that. Um, the next thing, this is also very common, this is uh, if you press F5, you can get a third person view. If you press it one more time, you can get a third person view from the front and then press it again to be back to your normal view. The next thing is something really cool that I actually just learned. Um, it is the smooth camera. So if you um, just kind of pan around like this, like I'll try to do like a nice smooth pan. Let's do F1 just, to, just for the added effect. If I do a nice smooth pan, or I try to do a nice smooth pan, you can see it's not very smooth. Or if I like, you know, fly around, um, it's all right, but when I it's kind of abrupt when I try to change elevations, you know. Um, but if you hit, F8, because right now I already have F1 on, keep that in mind. If you press F8, you'll go into more of a smooth camera um, smooth camera motion. I, I don't know if you can tell in some of my turns um, that it's a little bit more smooth. And you can use this for like a, like more cinematic type of things. Um, if there's any lag at all right now, it's not from the... Um, it's not from F8 at all, it's actually just from the game and my computer not being able to keep up with all the things it's doing right now. Okay, so there, there goes the uh, the more simple things. Now we'll go into some of the more complex and um, non-used things, if you will. So this next one is a force reload. So if I do it right, it should lag a little bit. And okay, if you saw that little lag, um, that little jitter, whatever you want to call it, that was what I did. And that um, I th I'm not exactly sure what that does. I think it reloads whatever data, data, however you want to say it, that um, is being loaded currently, so I'm not sure exactly what that entails. But anyway, it's just useful to know. Uh, the next thing is um, if you press F3, sorry, I don't remember if I even said it. Uh, the force reload was F3 plus S. If I said it, sorry for being redundant, but I can't remember. Uh, the next thing is to refresh the textures. So that would be F3 and T. Um, well, I'm not sure if that actually worked, but um, that's irrelevant. You know what it means. Um, okay, so this is a little bit more um, obvious. If you do Shift F3 and um, F, you can increase your render distance. So there we go. As you can see, I've just increased my render distance as soon as all this stuff loads in, and then. If you want to decrease your render distance, just go F3 
and F without shift, and that'll take your render distance right back down um, to wherever you want it. So um, now that we've done that, uh, I can show you guys. Let's see, I'm looking at my list here. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we've got F3 and A, and this will reload or um, load. I don't know technically what it will do, um, but it will reload all the renders. So as you can see, everything that's rendered gets reloaded. Um, maybe, I'm not sure, I haven't actually tested this out completely yet, but maybe this could be useful if you have a chunk error and some blocks aren't generating. Um, it could be useful to reload them. Um, the next thing we have is F3 and H. And as you can see right now when I go into these, um, when I go into the building blocks, you can see that uh, stone just says stone, grass just says grass. But if I do F3 plus H and then I go back into it, um, it has its item um, data ID or whatever you want to call it, um, it has it right next to it. So that could be useful, say, if you wanted to give yourself like um, black wool, so or let's say like jungle wood. So that's that's 17. So you could um, give yourself um, one piece of jungle wood, whatever. <laughs> but that's a good way to know what that um, what the item ID is. So let me just go ahead and turn that off really quickly. Okay, and um, the next thing we have is uh, this display. Okay, sorry, I'm uh, navigating my list right now. I'm getting a little lost. Um, but this will show you your hitbox. So to do that, you press F3 and then B. And then what your hitbox is is just the area around you. So you can see that little white area um, around him. And if I if I disable it, you can notice that there it goes. It's gone. Um, so that's, like I said, that's the hitbox. And we'll just knock him off. See ya. Um, but that's what that does. The next thing is F3 plus uh, P. And this isn't super useful because you can um, you can just as easily do it uh, as an in-game way. But for this, I'm just going to minimize. Or I'm just going to go out of full screen mode for this one. And here's my window. And you see if I want to, if I wanted to go, say, like into Audacity, and um, when I looked back at my game, you can see the screen here is paused. Well, if you want to make it so the screen isn't paused, like say you were smelting something and you wanted it to be still smelt while you were um, while you were navigating different windows, you could hit F3 and then P. And what that does, let's see, we go here, and you can see that the game is still running um, without having paused it. So that's useful for whatever you want to do. Um, whatever you want to do with that. Like I said, it could be useful for smelting or um, I don't know, whatever. You can figure it out. Um, and I think that's all I have for you guys. Yep, because I've already gone over the common stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I know I did when I, uh, when I read um, all of this stuff. I will put a link to the original Reddit post that I saw this on. Um, how did he live? I'll put a link to the original Reddit post that I saw all of this information on because I want to give credit where credit is due in the description below. Also, you can find in the description my Twitter. Um, you can find a playlist to some One Minute Minecraft stuff if you guys already haven't seen all those videos. And if you'd like to see more content, as soon as I put it out, I usually put out about four or five videos a week, you can hit that subscribe button. And if you liked the video, I would really appreciate a like. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.